No sir, Bob. Hi guys, Black is here, and I'm getting ready to change the master cylinder on the 2004 Volkswagen Golf. All right, now what made me think I need a master cylinder? Um, this car, the brakes bypass. What I mean by bypass is when you step on the brakes, the brake go down like halfway. If you pump them once, press on them again, the pedal is firmer. That's usually, now sometimes it could be air in the line, sometimes it could be uh, worn out brake pads. But the car has new brake pads. I've led the system and I don't see the air in the system. So I believe it has a bad master cylinder. Also, this master cylinder is original, I'm assuming it's original. This car has 195,000 miles. It most likely needs a new master cylinder. These things don't last forever. But first thing you want to do, take this off, take this off, and get this out my way. And I don't know how that's going to come off. You know, I forgot I bought these online. These are supposed to be specially designed for these clamps. You think pliers would work, and they do, but these are supposed to be non-slippage. Okay, let me show y'all once in a while. All right, the way you get these plugs off is someone said to take a... And he's supposed to pull. So we got this, we're going to fold this over like that. Ooh, gunky. Extremely gunky. Should I try to clean that out? Pretty gunky. Mm -hmm. I'll find something to tie this down. see the master cylinder and you know what yeah, I'm not going to move that I think I can get these lines without moving that and speaking of these lines brake lines can be a itch because the people always over tighten them It works on. It probably works better if I get the damn thing to tilt. 
I don't think it tilts. It don't. It don't. Come on, White folk come up with a good idea. White folk come up with a good idea. But it's not a good idea. It don't be. <clears throat> it don't be. Now I gotta find every line wrench I have. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Half inch. 10 and a 12. 10 looks like it's too small. And the 12 is too large. I think I bought a 11 millimeter line wrench. I could have sworn I bought a 11 millimeter line wrench, but I don't see one. This 38 is not going to work. Try the 716. 716 is too much slack. Oh, but it worked. Too much slack, but it worked. I'll be damned. So I guess they didn't torque it on. Get the other one off. Come on. It came on, but it's not the right angle. Alright, All right, let's see. Can we put a little pressure on to get it to turn? Oh my goodness. They didn't talk them on. I be. Damn. All right. We got the lines off. It's like 12 millimeter um, wrenches. Let's see, can I get this thing to work? It ain't deep enough. All right, let me go to. All right, we got a 13 millimeter wrench. So. All right, let's see if we can get this to come on. Yeah, we got to go on and I rip my damn glove. Uh, guess what? Somebody torque that one on. You know y'all love to torque every damn thing on. Stuff that don't have to be damn torque on, they torque them on anyway. Yeah, I think I got that one. Let me get the other side. And I might need to do. I cannot see it. 
This air box is going to have to get moved. Remove this air box. I moved the air box out the way. The air box is right here. Um, I still can't see the... Well, I can see the I can see the boat, but the camera. And watch me knock the damn camera out the way. Okay. Oh, that one ain't tight. I mean, that one went that tight. Yep, that one wasn't that tight. <clears throat> Would I have tightened it tighter? Maybe. Maybe. Hell, I still can't see the damn thing. There it is. Come on, damn it. My boss went and took a page from GM with these long ass screws. Oh, I know what it is. It was running against the damn the um body of the um Okay, we're going to switch back to a one quarter ratchet, but we're going to keep on using the 3.8 drive socket and um, struggling with this thing when I have a um a electric wrench. It took so long because I changed glove. My love glove is gonna blow out. That's what I'm talking about. Fall. There we go. Governor. I don't believe it. This. Okay, so I know when he crazy has um, Volkswagen clips again. And from my understanding, if you do that, it'll come off. What the hell is that noise? Trying to get these brake lines out. I think Volkswagen would have put a little more, a little more what you call it. I'm getting brake fluid all over my damn. What did I use? I think I need a little millimeter. Once you break this to bolt off, you can use a um, 11 millimeter open wrench. You can actually put it on with a 11 millimeter open wrench. You just can't torque the damn thing like a lot of folks like to do. All right, now we're leaving brake fluid all over the ground. I should have been put that down there, but I wasn't expecting it to pull out like that. I think Volkswagen would have put a little more slack on this thing. It's that a little too much like right. But that one screws up by hand. 
Okay, now, you can't bend these damn brake lines much. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? Where the hell is that going? Oh well. Guess I'll take it off. Can this fit in there? Yes, sir. Can we get it off? Come on. Yes, sir. Now, we need some needle nose pliers. Too. Hopefully, I can get it to spin. Is it gonna slide off? Is it gonna slide off? Okay, let's get a big screwdriver. Got that off. Whatever the hell that is. I ain't never seen. Come on. 